Welcome to Mission Control Houston. We're inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room for today's ISS update on Tuesday, August 30th. The team here is monitoring systems aboard the space station and not uh, working any major issues at this time, just following along with the activities of the Expedition 28 crew who is uh, living and working aboard the space station. And the crew is uh, comprised of six crew members that uh, continue to maintain the station operations and work on science and research activities aboard the complex. Overnight, uh, the flight control team successfully replaced a remote power control module or a circuit breaker on the outside of the space station without any uh, crew interaction from inside the station. Actually, the crew members were asleep while the robotics flight controllers operated Dexter, the Canadian Space Agency's robotic handyman that is on the outside of the International Space Station. It uh, replaced that uh, faulty circuit breaker with a new one and uh, removed the old one to place it in a storage container. That sort of task is normally done by uh, spacewalking astronauts, but uh, with Dexter now available to do maintenance work, that can be done remotely from uh, the ground and save time for the crew members to focus on their science activities inside the station. As such, uh, the crew members are inside the station working on various uh, science work, science activities. Astronauts Mike Fossum and Satoshi Furukawa have been working on uh, getting a science experiment ready for its operation. Actually, the MARES experiment, as it's called, which stands for Muscle Atrophy Research and Exercise System, was uh, not able to begin functioning when it was first set up. There were some issues with the bolts that are installed on the uh, frame of the hardware and also the box, so those are being removed and replaced. And also there was a problem with powering up the uh, experiment initially, so after some troubleshooting on the ground and recreating that issue, the teams uh, created a procedure for Furukawa and Fossum to go through to try uh, adjusting the elect electronics boxes in that experiment and uh, hopefully bring that back up online so that it can uh, function. It is a human physiology experiment which aims to better understand the effects of microgravity on the muscular system, and it's provided by the European Space Agency. The ground teams also help with science experiments by uh, activating one of the experiments that Fossum worked with yesterday. He replaced a sample inside the Materials Science Laboratory, and that uh, was activated. That uh, includes experiments that aim to improve our understanding of the solidification process of metallic alloys to help uh, understand the casting processes that uh, will have several applications of our in our daily lives. The uh, crew members also working with relocating some items, you see the astronaut Ron Guerin in this view, uh, helping with the efficiency of storage on board and unpacking equipment from a module on the inside the station. Astronaut Satoshi Furukawa also took time this morning. He's uh, from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and he took time to speak with uh, children on the ground from the Young Astronauts Club in Japan.